everyone and welcome to another video. I have a special guest today. Are you going to say hello? Are you going to say hello? I think he's like, what, where are we going? He's sort of in that mood, aren't you? I'm sorry for the building works smokes in the background, but today I'm just running errands. Arthur is not with me this morning, which is weird because he's always with me. Do you know what I mean? I'll never get used to not having him. Um, but I've got a few bits to do today, including um, posting my vintage parcel, vintage, sorry, parcel, voting, just that sort of thing. And I thought I'd bring you along. You're all plugged in, aren't you? Yeah. So we're going to go and I thought I'd bring you along with me. So I'm now back home and um, the lighting in the kitchen's awful by the way. But I've now voted, I have posted my prescription and posted my vintage parcel and we're all out of bread and I'm really trying to be really quite eco at the moment. Right, I am completely obsessed with this book at the moment. It's by Bonnie Wright and she is from, well, an actress in Harry Potter if you don't recognise that. But anyway, this book is like my, I don't know, like it means a lot to me at the moment. I mean, literally everything I'm reading in it, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so true. I could be doing that, why aren't I doing that? I love that idea and I'll be taking ideas from it. But what I've taken it from it is that I should be making more of my own stuff instead of buying stuff wrapped in plastic and buying from things that have gone through like different stages. So what do I mean by that? Like I'm different. I'm sure that there's a picture in here. Food supply chains, like how they go through different stages. So it's saying the best thing to do is like grow your own stuff. Hello. <laughs> the best thing to do is to grow your own. And then after that, it's to, let me move the camera a bit so I can actually see what I'm showing you. So the first one is you grow your own. And then it is just to buy locally is the next one and walk to your local, like walkable distance. So I've decided to just make a lot of my own stuff now and to buy from, I mean, I normally do buy from this place, but I've not been there in ages. It's my local zero waste shop and I need to go there more. I just, I'm going to go and make my own bread instead of buying one that's packaged or, you know, got other stuff in it, I'm gonna go as simple as I can. Literally all of my favorite recipe books, not one bread recipe, like normal bread. I'm talking about plain bread, not like a fancy bread, I'm talking plain bread. So I've decided to just go with it. Who is it the BBC, was it good something, good food? And get a recipe and I've just written it down and it is just a plain white loaf. And luckily I already have the ingredients with me. So I can just get started on that, that is the plan. Um, I'm hoping it's going to inspire you to make your own bread as well. It's something that's so easy to make. I say that I've not made it yet and it might turn out awful as a touch word. We'll see. Um, but it's just how long it takes, I think, is the problem for most people. Because you've got to, like, leave it for an hour. Then it says here that you've got to, like, punch the air out of it once you've got it out. And then it says that you've got to, um, then put it back in to rise more, yeah, long. But anyway, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna stop waffling, let's just make the bread.
I am really proud of myself, okay? It doesn't look like most Instagrammers bread, but like I am stunned that I've managed to make my own bread, but I am gonna cut it open. And I think that's really like the, was it the real test is what it looks like inside. But I mean, for my first ever bread, I am so proud of that. And I think why am I buying it when I can just make it like every week like this? toothpaste around your mouth. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> mm? You enjoying this? I just thought, you know what, I'll put on something because I'm extremely tired today. We put on Bear in the Big Blue House and he is in love with it. Oh, my eyes flared up as well again today. <laughs> oh, you're in a good mood now, are you? <laughs> I meant it when I said I'm having a lazy morning. This is what I'm gonna wear to drop off at nursery because I'm gonna come home and have a shower and do my skincare, that's the plan. So I've just chucked on literally anything I could find just to take him to nursery. But... Oh, <laughs> happy! Yeah? <laughs> We've been playing for a little bit. He is loving his pop-up tent at the moment. And yeah, he's just having a nice sit down for a minute. I swear I never film us playing. I only ever film and watching TV. That's not the case, I promise. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'm just gonna drop off at nursery, come home and put on some of my special product for my eyes. I need to dye my hair as well. And mm, make this actually look nice. Oh, I feel like crap today i really do i'm so tired i can't even tell you why why am i tired it is actually not a very nice day today it's just cloudy it's been raining but i'm not complaining because my tomato plant is getting some water natural water sorry rain but i mean look i am so pleased right now so pleased i think something has eaten my black currants on here because they've just vanished strawberries have also been eaten by something this is yeah not meant to be like this I'm, I'm meant to be doing something to it but i think it's like picking the flowers off or something and i just i haven't i've just let it grow and some flowers aren't coming out quite yet but they are there they're getting there and then my pepper plant just a few flowers coming off of it it's a bit of a walk down here because as you know i'm doing this side of the house up as like my own miniature garden but let me show you this is my cucumber i think i've got courgette here as well i probably shouldn't have put them next to each other but i have then i've got my carrot and my lettuce which i think the slugs have finally found it but I need to de-weed all of this really. I did do it the other day. I think it's just something you've just got to keep up on because I'm trying not to use many products on it, on it as organic as I can, but I'm so happy with this. And this is the state of the side of a house at the moment. So I've moved my greenhouse further up. I've got salad, cress, and something else now, I can't remember now, but there's still loads to do. I've still got to, I want to put my flowers down here. I'm not doing it today because it is still raining a little bit. I'm actually going to start using my compost bin, but I need to empty it first. So that's to do. Get rid of the chairs at the back. Just clear it all, really. I've still got low seat. Oh, I've done loads, but there's still more to do. Hi, Charles. Just put your ears normal. There you go, my love. 
I have just done something. So good is good is good. I've just dropped half off at nursery and I'm out of pasta. So I was like, you know what? I'm on this whole make it your own. I've made my own pasta and it's just boiling. Let me show you. I don't know why, but I decided to do it in a saucepan because I think, I don't know. But this is what it looks like. Yes, I don't have a pasta flattener thing. So I just did it with a, um, uh, oh my goodness, rolling pin and cut it into like spaghetti size things, some bits of it. But this is it and I am very, I mean, I don't know. I think I need to eat it to really test it. It might not look like much to you, sorry I've got flour on my finger, but I, again, I've done it. It is so easy to do. I mean, it might not look professional, but it's pasta. I've just added some tomato sauce and some, by tomato sauce I mean literally just pureed tomatoes and some, and some spinach and a dash of salt and that's all I have added. I'm so happy with that. I am well aware that this is one hell of a random video and quite like misplaced but we're gonna go with it because I literally am just taking you along with me. I'm currently in my messy t-shirt because I'm about to dye my hair and I dye my hair myself it's cheap it's yeah i've been doing it my own for years but i am doing it slightly lighter but you can't really take black hair dye out so what i'm doing is just like gradually lighting lightening it now i have i say recently been made aware that garnier are actually in by l'oreal so i don't buy garnier anymore and which is annoying because they are cruelty free um they are cruelty free approved like they got the leaping bunny logo but they are owned by l'oreal which as we well if you watch any of my stuff you'll know that l'oreal do test my animals even on even though on their website they say they don't they do okay but anyway we're not going to go into that on this video so i have one box left of my garnier hair dye and i don't like to waste anything so i'm going to use this one up and then after that, I'm going to start buying, I think I'm going to buy Superdrug's own brand hair dye. I've used them before, um, so I'm going to go back to that one. But I like to use everything up before I buy anything new. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to show you how I do it. It's not that impressive. It's just like a normal hair dye. It might be a bit weird to some people how I dye it. I don't know. But first thing is, I'm going to take it down. And then I always use this to like the bin. There must be more of an eco-friendly way of dyeing your hair, I'm sure of it. But what would the best way? Probably not to dye it. I'm not ready to go grey at all yet. I am only 28. Yeah, sorry about that. My battery ran out. But I have dyed my hair. Very happy with it. It's still a bit wet, so it's just up in a bun. Uh, if you have curly hair, you'd know that you can't really dry it with a hairbrush not a hairbrush a hair dryer because my hair would actually and when it's dry it just it doesn't look good so i normally just leave it wet and i've started to leave it wet loose not up because it's been pulling my curls making them straight but annoyingly i have to pop out so i've just shoved it up for a second but i've been sleeping with like um a satin oh what do you call it like hair thing in at night but I am just going to pick Arthur up and I've also got to pop to the shop as well for some dinner and some bits. All in your jammies. I'm not going to be far behind you. Oh. Arthur! Oh. Is oh. that you? <laughs> Say night! now boo I'm looking yeah are you going to bed <laughs> I am now in my pajamas I've got my diary that I'm gonna do tonight because I've got a few things to organize and I think I might watch a bit of Smallville I think my sister and I want to rewatch Smallville just for nostalgia purposes and I'm going to bed I think that's the plan tonight anyway but again I'm sorry for the random vlog I do hope you like this video and yeah, expect a fun 
vlog because i do have a busy weekend please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because it puts a huge smile on my face and yeah i'm just glad people are actually enjoying these so i'll see you all very soon in the next one see you soon Bye.